given, the bait is laid. The gods roll their great eyes over Creon's house and quietly smile. For no rat nor coney would creep into the open, undisguised traps that take the proud race of man. That robe of bright flowing gold, that bride veil, that fish nets to catch a young slender salmon. Not mute, she'll sing. Her delicate body writhes in the meshes. The golden wreath binds her bright head with light. She'll dance. She'll sing loudly. Oh, would I were there to hear it, that proud one howling. Oh, look. The sun's out again. The clouds are gone. All's gay and clear. I wish the deep earth would open and swallow us before I do what comes next. I wish all life would perish and the holy gods in high heaven die before my little ones come home to my hands. It would be better for you, my dear, if the earth did open her jaws and take you down into darkness. But one thing you will not do, for you cannot, you will not hurt your own children. No blood-lapping beast of the field, she-bear, nor lioness, nor the lean wolf bitch hurts her own tender whelps. How could that girl's death slake me? I am sick with terror. I'll run to the palace, I'll warn them. Will you? Go. Go if you will. God and my vengeful goddess are doing these things. You cannot prevent them, but you could easily fall into the same fire. I am afraid to go. You are wise. Anyone running between me and my justice will reap what no man wants. Not justice, vengeance. You have suffered evil. You wish to inflict evil. I do according to nature what I have to do. I dream that someone gave good for evil, and the world was amazed. Did you hear that music? Like a girl screaming. Oh, or did I perhaps imagine that? Hark! It is music. Let me go, my dear. I'll be mute. I'll speak to no one. I cannot bear. Let me go to my house. I will stay here and watch till the end. You will be quiet, so when I came to see her, the barbarian woman, and you were his betrayal. Watch, and you will know. Blood is a seed of blood, a hundredfold the harvest. The cleaners that follow with their feet are crimes. The demon comes through the locked door and strangles the child. See the whirlwind hanging from the black sky like a twisted rope, like an erect serpent. Its tail tears the earth. It is braided of dust and lightning. Who will fly in it? Let me hide myself from these night-shoring pillars and the dark door. They have bright things in their hands. Their faces are clear and joyous. Was all that fear a dream? A dream. Rejoice, Medea. I bring good news. The princess graciously received your presence and smiled. It is peace between you. She has welcomed the little boys. They are safe from exile. At first, she looked angrily at them and turned away. Jason said, don't be angry at your friends. You ought to love those whom I love. Look what they have brought you, dear. And she looked and saw in the dark boxes the brilliant gold. She smiled then and marveled at it. And afterwards, she, she caressed the children. She even said that this little one's hair was like fine spun silk. And then Jason gave them these toys and we came away. Yes. If this were all, 
If this were all old man, I'd have your bony loins beaten to a blood froth for the good news you bring. Oh, but today it is more, however. It will soon come. Oh, take them away from me. I get up there. Children, I get up there. come quickly. If there is any mercy or forbearance in heaven, let it reach down to touch that dark mind and save it from what it dreams. What is with you? What happened? What horror drives you? A spear's hunting behind you. Flee for your life, my dear. I am Jason's man, but you were good to me while I was here in the house. Can you hear me? Escape, my dear. I hear you. Your breath, quietly what you see. My ears ring with the crying. My eyes are scalded. She put on the gold garments. Did you do it, my dear? You are horribly avenged. It is too much. The gods will hate that you. That is my care. Did anyone die with her? Creon. Where is pride now? Tell me all that you saw. Speak slowly. He tried to save her. He died. Corinth is masterless. All's in amazed confusion and some are looting. But they'll avenge him. I'm going on. Someone is going to die. Here comes my witness. I've, 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 I've hobbled and run and fallen. Catch your breath. Take your time. I want the whole tale. Every gesture and cry. I've labored for this. Death is turned loose. She's nervous. I'm very happy. Go slowly. Tell me these things in order from the beginning. As when you used to dress me when I was little in my father's house. You used to say one thing at a time. One thing and then the next. My eyes are blistered. My throat's like a dry straw. Yeah. There was a, a, a long mirror on the wall. And when her eyes saw it, uh, children had gone. She, she put her hands in the cases and took those gold things. And I watched, for I feared something might happen to her. But I never thought so horribly. She, she placed on her little head the bright golden wreath she gathered the flowing gold robe round her white shoulders and slender flanks and, and gazed at the golden girl in the metal mirror going back and forth on tiptoe almost <laughs> and swung a leg from the hip to see the flexible gold molding the thigh. And suddenly, horror began. You are not suffering. You saw it. You did not feel it. Speak plainly. Her face went white. She, she staggered a few steps, bending over, and, and, and fell into the great throne chair. Then a, a, a serving woman began to call for water, thinking she'd fainted, but saw the, the foam start on her lips and the eyes rolling and screamed instead. And some of them ran after Jason, others ran to fet fetch Creon, and that doomed girl, frightfully crying, started up from the chair. She ran. She was like a torch. <laughs> And the golden crown like a comet streamed fire. <laughs> she, she tore at it, but it clung to her head. The, the golden cloak was white hot, flaying the flesh from the living bones. Blood mixed with fire ran down. She fell. She burned on the floor, writhing. Then, then, then Creon came and, and, and flung himself on her, hoping to choke that rage of flame, but it ran through him. His own agony made him forget his daughter's. The fire stuck to the flesh, and it glued him to her. He tried to stand up. He tore her body and his own. The burned flesh broke in lumps from the bones. No, no, I have no more, no more. I finished. They lie there, eyeless, disfaced, untouchable. 
middens of smoking flesh laced with molten gold. <laughs> no, I'm no more. I'm finished. I'm finished. Have yeah, mercy. Have yeah, mercy. Yeah, they died when you came away. No. The harsh tides of breath still whistle in their black mouths. No one could touch them. Jason, Jason stood in their smoke, unable, helpless. No one could touch them. You have to have good news, well. I reward you. As for those people, they will soon die. Their woes are over too soon. Mine are not. Jason's are not. <laughs> <laughs> 